You have a teeny head, do you? I have a pin head. A little yeah. <laughs> pin head, a little pee head? Yeah. That's yeah. what I have a small head too. Yeah. Real tiny head. When I, I yeah. noticed when I was uh, y- when I was young and beautiful uh, that I had a small head because I would go out on the football field and have the helmets. Oh yeah. and my head the, I had the smallest little helmet as a senior compared to everybody else. And I'm like, I don't know. I feel like it's a normal size head, but when I see all these other no. mongoloid heads, I guess. <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> Oh, that's, yeah, you can't yeah. Do that. Like, you guys are all cavemen. I don't know what the heck your problem is. You, you know. Well, I was referred to as melon head. Mel- melon head. My head there was so go. large. <laughs> melon head. So I think there were many pin brands. Pinhead and, and melon head. And you yeah. actually and said somebody actually called you melon you head? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, kids used to call me melon head. <laughs> See? Again, Before, that was when no one had to be PC. No, that's obviously. Yeah. Say whatever's on your head, just whatever <laughs> popped in your mind. Hey, melon head over yeah, there. That's it. When someone had to do a costume with a hat my head was bigger than you know when you do the you do your <laughs> measuring the head was bigger nancy always yeah. used to put me in a bigger yeah, hat because oh, my head was yeah. just kept going oh my gosh this yeah. thing, I don't, we hardly have enough material to cover this that's giant right. melon of yours she said that's what she said melon head <sighs> well that's that's really sweet of her what a nice person <laughs> you still speak to this nancy yes we love oh, her we adore right. her she's wonderful <laughs> well that's good see you yes, can just be honest that. with each other and that's talk it. about right. all that kind you of you know stuff. melons are sweet maybe they were being you know, oh, there you see. You. is yeah, that yeah, what it is that's, just, that's what I, that's my story and yeah. i'm sticking to there it uh-huh. mm-hmm. what I do you call so. me behind my back tom <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, so you can't even say it's so terrible. No, I usually I call it right to, to my face. face. It's so much I easier. Know, it is easier. <laughs> That's the beauty. He actually, he actually did point out that I screwed something up the other day, and he's like, "This is terrible. You should do better." And I was like, "You're right. I should." Ah. Uh. Oh, that's yeah. a true friend. That's a friend, right? Because right. I'm like, just tell me. And he's like, "Why? Well, I didn't mean to come off mean." I'm like, "Dude, do I do I look like I care? It's fine. You can just yeah. talk to me, and I don't get all offended." And, and yeah, the yeah. other day I had to search for you for five minutes before I get pick on you. <laughs> but you found me I found just to make sure you could all right we have the marys here from uh, lakeside theater company and i don't even remember why you're here <laughs> is that terrible this is That's stage promising. door That's right. oh this is stage door a theater podcast hosted by a couple of average guys and for real like you got a hold of me and i just said yes right away i didn't even care what you were going to come on for oh. so what is it that you're coming on for well, this time, this we're time. coming on for our production of I Remember Mama. I Remember Mama. That opens on September 14th at okay. Mommy Indoor. Okay. Runs to the 24th. I Remember Mommy Indoor? I, there we, you could is that what that it is? I think I may steal that. <laughs> <laughs> for, uh, our, it's our, in the uh, next Instagram. ad. I Remember yeah. Mommy Indoor. I Remember Mommy. See? So, I was, yeah, I, I literally did just do that. I was Helpful like, already. you just get a hold of us and just said... Hey, do you have time? And I was like, yes, we absolutely have time for you ladies. We love Is you. Is this the first time you guys are being at the Mommy Indoor this No, no. This no. Season. no we've this done season. almost all of our shows there. Oh, okay. Love it. Love them. Yeah. We do it in the small theater. The yeah, small the black the box. Love That's the right. intimacy, mm-hmm. and it's just, And yeah. they're great to work with. Yeah. Great oh, good. They are? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd like to hear that. Yeah. See, because mm-hmm. I don't have that kind of insight from anybody. I just go to the shows, but I don't hear from anybody who's actually booked them, worked with them, done anything with them. Yeah. Um, yeah. I But I would assume so, but I'm yeah. glad to hear that they're really, what makes them they so are. amazing to work with? I know. They're accommodating and, you Flexible. Know. Right. And oh, if nice. something's going wrong, they say, oh, well, let, let's see what we can do to fix it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. No, yeah. they're great. They got that Ohio Midwest charm. Yeah, yeah. they do. Uh, <laughs> and they have great popcorn. <laughs> well, that's yeah, a fact. that is true. That, that is <laughs> a popcorn like bar <laughs> Yeah, it, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah. Still, I mean, I still have my bucket. Of course you <laughs> do, right? you cheapo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Held that on for 15 years. I got my bucket. I can dig it I'm out of the basement. I'm here for my big fill. <laughs> yeah, and then I get my popcorn and leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, people do. Yeah, I know right. people can do that. I, when mm-hmm. they first started, and I didn't know they did that, what? that you could buy the bucket and refill it all the time. I didn't see the sign. And I'd be out there, we'd be teching, and all of a sudden these people would come in with their buckets lining up, and I'm like, there's Wait. no movie. What, We're randos right. off the street Rando are just walking? Right. No, no, they have their bucket. They have their, they, that's who their Who are these mommy weirdos? Ah, oh, they, Tom. That's right, I forgot. Tom's one of those come weirdos. Come to realize they knew, they knew. Yeah, yeah they know their can, audience. Yeah. They know who. That's it. <laughs> the popcorn's have done it. And that's, it's a local Ohio 
corn, popcorn. Uh, is it really? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. This is a, a uh, podcast for about the Almy Indoor Theater, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and that's well, fine. Yeah, so, okay. So, we're back to you guys. Back to you guys. So, the one of the cool things, obviously, that you do is that you are a uh, equity theater. Yes. That's yeah. the one thing I always want to make sure when you come on, we, we emphasize that. Because you are the only equity theater in the area that I'm aware of. Yes. And wow. the next one is all the way up in... Uh, Rose, Chelsea, Purple Rose. Michigan, yeah. Purple yeah. Rose. Yeah. And we actually have someone in our cast from the Purple Rose. Oh, yeah? Who's that? Yes. Uh, Maria Kelly. Okay. Phenomenal. She is playing Mama. Oh. And uh, we've worked with a number of people from up there. And awesome. um, she actually is juggling quite a bit because she is understudying for the current show that's running. So today we finished rehearsal and she got in her little car and tootled up there because she has to be there. Her little car you know? and tootled. Yep. Uh huh. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I and then painted she'll that tootle picture. on back down for the next rehearsal. And um, so, yeah, and we had in our well, last. She was in our first production, first production that we of did. The Heiress, back the in Heiress. 2019. So, uh, yeah. so you're saying she's up there. Does she live in that area? I'm yep. confused. Royal Oak, Michigan. Okay, so she lives yes. in Royal Oak and works professionally at the. Purple at Rose. the Purple Rose. I keep wanting to say Pamela Rose, and that's not right. That's a different thing. <laughs> no. That's a, that's that's a, that's a real different. estate. Yes, real estate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, free plug for Pamela Rose, right. too. So the Purple Rose up there, and so she just lives in that area and then can come down here. She's probably yes. was ecstatic that you guys arrived and started another theater, so then she has options. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah what is she doing up there? Do you know? Um, she's a jukebox for the Algonquin, right. I think. She's I hope I'm not misquoting the title of yeah. that show. The current um, show that's running. Yeah. Jukebox for the Algonquin. Algonquin. Which yeah. is the name of the street I live on, Algonquin. That's weird. That's right. Oh, that's insane. Oh, my gosh. Right. Okay, so yeah. back to your show, Mama. Yep. Mama, uh, what's it called again? I Remember Mama. I Remember Mama. Okay, so now we've established you guys Maybe are, Jack, you guys are pros. Too. Yeah, you guys are pros. <laughs> At least what, somebody here's a pro. Uh, <laughs> to get this together. And then or you, nobody hears a pro. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are pros. Hey, if you're anybody who hasn't listened to the other episode you guys were on, you guys have been uh, working professionally in the theater industry for... Yeah, decades. Oh, decades. 50 yeah. years. Yeah, 50 Final years, count which is them. crazy because you guys must have started when you were infants, right? It Indeed. Does, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. And, we're, and that's our story, and we're sticking to it. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> and so this show that you're doing, The Mama Show, uh, tell me again what it's called, Remembering Mama? I Remember Mama. I Remember Mama. Mama. We're going to say it a hundred. Break it down for That's them. good. As yep. long as, we're going to keep saying it over and over again so everybody hears this. <laughs> I Remember Mama is the name of the show. Um is where did you find the show? Who who? Because I know you guys find well, these shows you know that are different. Yeah, well, it fits into historically plays of the forties. Oh, so and, which is our oh. mission is to do more yeah of the classics yeah. of the theater starting like the thirties, the forties. Yeah, this is this is one of those they call an old chestnut. An old chestnut. Yes. Okay. Um, mm. Been a play, a film. A musical. musical. Oh, um, is that what makes a television it a show? That's been, uh, it's been on everything. It's been on everything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um, and um, well, the first production was in 1944. And Tom, you've never heard of it before. I'm trying to remember Mama. Uh, in the <laughs> there film, you go. <laughs> he nailed it. In the film, Irene Dunn. Yeah. Irene Dunn. Wow. Nice. Yep. So you've yep. seen it because it's I mean, a Turner yeah. classic. Yeah. Yeah. And Tom it, sees it, everything. That's why he hears all the music. He sees all the movies. He's seen every yeah. single movie my, that's I, ever I'm been nominated. To find out that, uh, that I've seen so many, I don't remember most of them. Right. It, at yeah. a certain yeah. point, you're like, I know I saw it. I know I've seen Irene Dunn. Yeah. You, you've seen yes. And Barbara Bel Geddes was in it. Cedric okay. Hardwick was well, in it. I need Tom for when you guys come on. You drop so many and, names and, and so many things. I'm like, no. who played Nels? Uh, uh, well, that on, that was Broadway. Broadway. Marlon, Marlon Brando. Brando. Oh. I've never heard of a him. Young, no, I'm just kidding. He never heard of him. <laughs> just kidding, just he, kidding. Right? Yes, he was in it. He played he a young yeah. young man, very young, you know. And teenager. in the film, Edgar Bergen was in the film. Oh, nice. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Not, with his, not with Charlie. No. Though. Okay. No, no. <laughs> okay, so, right. so there's a yeah. lot of resources out there for anybody who is unaware, like yeah. myself, to be able to go out and just do a quick little Google, and there's probably tons of trailers out there for the movies and movies. all the tra- yeah. stage yeah. production. It was a musical as well, uh, you know. Yeah. 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 You're not doing the musical version? No. No, okay. no but we are doing, a, a, I won't say unique spin on it, but something that was done in 2014. Mary, why don't you tell yeah, about Yeah, there the was production. a production where... It was all female cast oh. where everyone played 
a couple different roles uh-huh. or, uh, you know, women were men, mm-hmm. it, it, but it was all women. And it was done in New York in 2014 off Broadway. Um, and so, yeah, you know, seasoned, nurse directing it. Seasoned actresses. They were all older women. Names that like powerhouses in theater. And they did this production. Mary saw it. I didn't see it. But the the idea and it's not like the the women are you know oh you got to believe they're men mm-hmm. it's not it's this group of women that are telling a story telling the story of i remember mama okay. and playing there's 25 roles and these 10 women played it and um and the reviews talked about taking this play that was already for so many people such a oh my gosh you say i remember mama oh i love that that film oh i love that TV show and suddenly infusing all of the characters with this this approach from these seasoned actresses that all of a sudden it had deeper resonance mm-hmm. because so this it, isn't gender bent this no, is no, just no, straight no. straight uh, we're just not going to cast guys just yeah, all, yeah. It, it's it's almost like when when you're telling a story and I go oh yeah my, my brother Larry yeah, huh? he walks in, he comes hey oh what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. so it's just that that the, these women are getting up and doing their you know hey here's Papa uh-huh. and you know it it just it's a whole new. So you don't need you don't voice. need Papa to come in and, and say they just do Papa's voice. Do Papa's voice. Yeah, that's it. Because that's how we yeah. tell our stories anyway. It, it exactly. It is. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You should hear my wife do her dad every single time. He has a, she has the same voice every time. It's so funny. It, it yes. is. <laughs> yeah. You do it's the right. Same thing. She's like I don't know. She just caught herself the other day doing that. She's like I don't know why I always change my voice like that to him. And it's, <laughs> I can I can just say it. And then she started doing it. And she's like No, I'm gonna go use my dad's voice yeah. again. And I'm like Yeah, it's better anyway. It's, you're you're funnier when you use your dad's voice. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. It is. So it's storytellers. Their, you know, each actress. You know, if they're playing. Some of them are playing three different roles. So saying to each actress, all right, who do you picture? What comes to mind when you read this and you read this particular character? Then embody them. Okay, now the next character, embody them. And we're they're all on stage the entire time, and the audience, we're just going to say, is going to go along for the ride. Nice. I bet it be just as impressive to watch you work and get these people to do this as it is to watch the show. It I'm going to go I and I'm, when, where do you guys rehearse? A little different place. Because <laughs> I want to come to one of your rehearsals and just film some stuff. Ooh. I want to film some stuff just to do promotional teases for your show. Because I do that all the time. I go to places or I ask them to send me videos We've and say, here that. you go. Yeah, and I, wanna, I, I need that. I need that. So maybe I, maybe I can cheat and just come. Yeah. yeah, well, let me, we'll contact you, because um, I have to look, we really are all over the place. Okay. Some of it, of course, hey, let's do it in somebody's house, yeah. like ours, to save money. No, but yeah, then there are times when everybody's there, and we need the whole place. We were it's just at Mommy today in their basement. Oh. Yeah, it's great for How that. big yes, is the cast? I've been then. in the basement millions of times. It's just 10. It's just 10? Okay. It's a full set of, you know, chairs, because they're moving, you know, flowing through from room to room, again, there's not a real set, so um, needing an open space is really every yeah. so often we got Everybody yeah. listening to this podcast has been in the mommy basement. Mommy indoor theater space. Everybody, oh, yeah. Probably, yeah. they've right? all yeah. had a rehearsal there. They've all done a show. Right. parties, you name mm-hmm. it. So I promise we yeah, will get when that we're back to you there. and figure out because probably the best is when we're in the Maumee and you yeah. can see everybody. But I would love for you to message me and say we're going to have rehearsal on this day, okay. and then I will get in my car and oh. I will come and I will and spy. you will toodle. In your little car, <laughs> yeah, I'll toodle. Yeah, I'll toodle. <laughs> yeah, I'll toodle in my car over to where you are, and I get to I get to spy and see how your process sure. is and what's going. On. Either of you in the show this time? Yeah, both of us. Both, both of you. Both of us. Look at and that. directing. I'm directing. She's directing. And um, yeah. So how do you balance that directing and being in type thing? How do you Ron Howard this thing? It is not easy, and um, there are times that I have either our stage manager. Um, or, you know, we have two that have set aside and said, hey, be on book for us, run it. So sometimes I'll say, I need you up there doing my character. You know where they move mm-hmm. so I can watch everybody else. I was wondering, like, who directs the director? You know, who's telling you you didn't do good enough? Uh, I guess she tells there herself. Is, <laughs> yeah. She's there gonna marry is. Her. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes this one, it is true. <laughs> good. And good. sometimes there's just that third eye and goes, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. You you need to revisit that moment there. Yeah. So yeah, I just wonder about that kind of stuff because, like, to an extent, it's like I, I've I've worked with or been around with 
groups of people where one person is is good, one person is is really good. So the director has to focus more of the attention on this other person. But that one person may have been a ninety five, but could have been a hundred, but yeah. didn't get the attention yeah. to get it. So All if right. you're like I'm doing a, I'm ninety five, but then that's not good enough. You get no, how are you oh, going to oh, recognize no, no, no. that you're not doing good enough? Again, yeah. that I mean, having done this for fifty years. Mm-hmm. You do develop what I call the neutral actor. Okay. That really is just waiting in the background and then has to move forward if something goes off. Okay. Anything from a line, but also, you know, there's, it says you just, that was a dishonest moment you okay. just played. I wonder if I'll ever get that because I think I'm great all the time. <laughs> so I'm That's like, why I'm here, Kyle. Oh, yeah. So I need somebody <laughs> because I couldn't be, I'm like, I'm freaking amazing. You know, and then I never, I never have that moment where I'm like, oh, you could have done better. <laughs> and I mean, you know, well, I mean, I think it's a little harder on stage. You have film actors who direct so they can, you know, see playbacks yeah but yeah. when you're on stage yeah you can't you're not even able see to see outside Precisely. yourself so yeah, it, yeah. it it becomes tricky yeah. it would be very hard i think so cool what right. is the show we haven't even talked about the show sorry time well, how many shows how many times are you putting this on i mean it's a just we i think on. we have 10 performances, 10 performances. oh wow yeah. nice 14 to 24 24th and we have one double header day right. you september know. 14th october 14th september. september september 14th to september 24th 24th yes. Yes. okay Right. And we're doing um, a one performance that we're donating the proceeds to Mom's House here in oh, Toledo. Nice, and it has a significant connection to the show. Well, that we don't. Not I don't know the show. I don't, I'm going to need you to tell me what the show is about, so I can see. You know, eventually. Yeah, not necessarily connection to this show, but Mom's House helps. Uh, Mothers. mothers and and children, mm-hmm. you know, uh, the mothers go through school and help, you know, help Learn with their various trade. things. They need trades, and to at the kind same time, them. it helps the children. So it, you know, their focus is two generations. We want to lift up two generations, mother and and right. children, um, and get them to another level in their lives where there are places to live, things that coping nice. better, yeah. whatever needs to be done. But this the play is about an immigrant family in nineteen ten in okay. San Francisco. And it's not as if everything they go through worrying about money, how to pay the bills, um, how to navigate, you know, teenagers that are butting heads, um, and um, how to get them all you know, educated and, and, you know, moving up in life as they're immigrants. Right. They want, of course, better for their Of course, children. they moved yeah. over to the country to give a better life for their family. Right. And, and uh, you know, the extended family that wants to butt in and tell you mm. what to do and how to do it and navigating yeah, so some... all the family issues you know, that, yeah. that, that they stay the same, 1910. Oh, it's the same. Yeah. We all yeah, we always. all want the same goal in our exactly. life is to have a, our our children be happy right. and com- content and right. successful. Yeah, yeah. I'm and not sure. So I'm, this, uh, my know, history is all this great, but San Francisco back in the early 1900s had a an, a great fire, or an earthquake. Ah, uh, yeah, have? yeah. Oh. Is this no part of no. this? It, it, no. it isn't part whatsoever. Of this? Okay. Um, but was it 1910 where it was, that, when well, that happened? Well, it was that, that exact year. I know there was a movie made about it. All I can ever think of is Clark Gable and uh, Jeanette McDonald. Yeah. Jeanette, you know, I think it was 19. I think it was 1903. Is when the, yeah. the great. The, I, the great, yeah. yeah I think um, it was. And so then, uh, yeah, then this family is, is Norwegian. Um, really? And uh, he's a carpenter. and um, But yeah, it, it's filled with love, a lot of laughter, um, moments of near tragedy and death and uh, every, I mean, just goes through what we go through in life. Um, and uh, just watching the journey of this family. Okay. We'll see what the San, San Francisco earthquake was. Oh, okay. She's going to look she up on her phone. That. That's when they went, find out when that cow kicked over that boulder. Oh, that and made that. oh that's a different yeah. one? Yeah. Uh, there yeah. is a movie about it. There that is. Has it in it. Because yeah. uh-huh. that was up for best picture, the, but I just did. Uh, but that's yeah, nothing to do with this show. Yeah, just, though, right? yeah, that, <laughs> that's, right. that's why I was asking. <laughs> Same okay. city, different So you, you didn't really say a whole lot about what the show is, though, other than you, you gave me some some vague, uh, you know, families growing up and wanting things can we get a little bit more Norwegian. detail on what it is, though? Um, like, a, if I see a trailer for this, what would it be? Oh wow! 
Yeah. It's a loaded question. No, a loaded I, mean, I just need to know what it's about. I mean, um, other than a family and their struggles. But, but it is that simple. Okay. It, it, in a sense, truly is that simple. Um, and But it is, you know, hoping that the audience just connects in that simple loving place of, you know, oh, I, I understand what that's about. I know what that's... It, one of the, the things that we're doing with it is really focusing on our mama and saying we're all, you know, daughters and sons. We all have mothers. And what is that connection between mothers and their children? Okay. So there's there's multiple children. How many yep. children? Yep. Uh, what? Nels? We've got it's Christine. we got four. Yeah. Okay. So mama has four kids. Four kids. No husband? Yep. Yes. Papa's in the okay, picture. Okay. Papa's in the He's picture. He's busy working. Carpenter. Okay. Figures. Yep. That's right. He said no, from Norwegian. Yeah. You know, and, and so, yeah, it's Norwegian. Norwegian. Yeah, from the airline or the cruise ship. Okay. <laughs> so then that, they're over here and, and so now they're remembering mama. So if I had to guess, I'm saying mama has passed. No, and then it, no. Oh, here's, no. Here's the gotcha. thing. That the play See? is based, the play is based <laughs> That's on... That's why I need more, span, more info. <laughs> a series of stories by a woman named Catherine Forbes. Forbes. And she wrote little small stories about her actual mother. Mm-hmm. About, you know, whether it was uh, saving money, money, the struggle for money, you know, illness when one of them was sick. Very and sick. So they're, and they're very like two or three page stories, mm-hmm. short little stories. And that's what the John play. Van Druten, the playwright, took all these stories from, <laughs> and it's the book is called Mama's Bank Account, okay. um, and he wrote and put them together to create a play. Okay. Right. Um, so. So basically, it's based on a real person. Yep. Oh, that's that did a real family. Exist. Okay, yeah. that's good. I'm just trying to make sure, sure that people know this isn't Little Women. You know, they got four women, yeah. they got a mama, they have all these things, and it's based on how they want to have their relationships with the guys. So in this one, it's not that. So, right? No, but you know what? The trajectory is almost the same okay. in in that. I mean, look at within Little Women. It's, you know, each one wanting to go in different directions. And right, and as, a, and as an observer to the show, you, you find your person to connect with. Which that, one of those exactly. daughters? Do I connect with Joe? Right. Do I, do I connect with, uh, you know, yes. the other three mm. whose names I can't remember? <laughs> <laughs> I love Little Women. I've seen everything about Little Women, and for some reason, my brain it. went blank. Yeah, that's, a, that's, a good, that, that's in that. Meg. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Right. That's yeah. I, am I more of a Meg, or am I more of a Joe? Am I more? So you have do you have no. similar situations like that in this show where you're like, yeah. I see myself a lot in Nell, and so you as a as, as a participant as an observer of this show, do you all of a sudden maybe gravitate to something? Well, yeah. I am think I putting maybe words in your if mouth, you look so? back at <laughs> beloved family members. Mm-hmm. That's that's what you know they're doing in this play. And the quirky, the quirky family and the members, qu- quirky family and, members, the and, crazy and aunts, the, the that, jealousies. Yeah. But yes, I mean, if you look at the oldest son, he knows they struggle for money, and yet he is desperate to go on to high school. Mm-hmm. And you know, Mama, I so I really. And back then, and you I, had to pay for it. Uh, back then, yes, you had See? to pay for yeah. it. <laughs> right, that's true. We didn't. So he. He did his research and he presents to Mama. You know, here's how much it would cost for this, the books, um, you know, the transportation, blah blah blah. And okay, she pulls out their, you know, ledger, looks at what they have in savings, because and we don't have enough. But mm. so then suddenly, Papa, I will give up tobacco. Uh, Christine says, I'll work after school. Uh, I know the grocery store is looking for some, And they all pitch in so that he can go to, to high school. Wow. Yeah. Um, and then the same it's with... It's a story the of love then, obviously. A lot right. of love oh, yeah. in yeah. this show. Oh, yeah. I play a, a, a Uncle Chris, who is a loudmouth kind of, you think, bully, uh-huh. who eventually you find out down the road that he spent all this money to assist children who were sick because mm. he always wanted to be a doctor in his wow. mind. And now he wants his nephew 
to go on to be a doctor from high school to right. medical school. Wow. I mean, there's all these So you got this stores. layer of who you think he is turns exactly. into, it's like right. the Severus Snape's character. It's like, you think he's this, but he's not. <laughs> That's right. Ah. And, and you know, everyone Potter. that thinks, yeah. everything everyone can relate that to Harry thinks Potter. he has m- lots of money and kind of a little bit of, well, when he dies, you know, ah. some of it, and then to learn that he dies... Penniless. He's giving it all away. He's giving it and all away. to people in need. And you're like, why? oh. Why? And it's like, oh. I have a know? whole different thought of how uh, he, you know, you flash back and remember that time, you know, or whatever. It's yeah. like, yeah. Yes. All right, I'm going to use my history again here. Oh. We're talking 1910 is what this is based yeah. on. Yep. Now, this is basically 60 years past the 49 gold rush in San Francisco, which was huge uh, back yes. then. Yes, yes. So anybody that would be about 60 at that time, why which I'm guessing mama might have been at that time because he has older kids. And this is some of the residual of the, because I know people went out there, but a lot of people did not make it. Right. Did not. That would make sense as to why a Norwegian family was even probably over there because of gold rush type stuff. Uh, well, getting jobs that, yeah. okay, we're not going for the gold, but we are, but they're going to need carpenters. Yeah. They're going to mm. need this and going to need this. Well, um, you know, it's interesting. The part of the play is Uncle Chris goes up and down California buying off things that are and then failing re, that are failing oh. and failing. then reprocessing them and making money that way that he then gives away. So, so it could probably have been connected homes to for the, okay. some of the to settlers out there. Yeah. Some right. of the I may yeah. just be reading too much into yeah. the, the and time Tom period. pulled it's, that knowledge without looking it up. He's over there, <laughs> empty-handed, empty-booked. He just, like, knew that. Yeah. That's impressive. But that wouldn't make a sense. Well, yes, it, it's a football. San thing. Francisco 49ers, 49ers right. so I should not so. give you any credit? Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Tom's not that smart. Well, no, I mean, I, I understood what the whole process of wow, that was. Wow, that was great connection. So the so. earthquake was 1906. Oh, six. So, mm. so that would have been so right after this is when it's based. But every you once but you in a while. Yeah. But you yeah. don't. So po- Talk no, about it, it doesn't. No, they, it doesn't. doesn't reference it at all. Um, okay. You know, the the daughter that wrote this, because by the end of the play, she thinks she can't write. She's tried writing, and they keep getting turned down by publishers. And then Mama steps in and talks to a writer and says, "Would you look at my daughter's and tell what's wrong with it?" And you know, this writer says she's not writing from the heart. Oh. That's very little women-y. Very, oh. right, you see? You see? So then so right she about writes, what you know. and mm-hmm. she starts to write, mm-hmm. yes, what she knows. And um, so... That's, uh, that's a great life lesson, so though, again. Just, she's, yeah, so her focus in writing these stories was, I want to talk about my mama, and I want to share what she was like. So that really was the focus of her book. Um, and going and, from there, and so... And mama's life was her family. Yeah. Everyone in our family, mm-hmm. even sisters, even uncle, everybody. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we have we have we've only told talked about one person in the show, then you two in the show. Where'd you get these other actors from? Where'd they pop up at? Oh, we love it. We're so excited. <laughs> because, you know, wanting It's a question I didn't know you'd be excited about, so that's see, great. <laughs> there you go. Um, because we have actresses that came in and some of them have come from the Toledo rep. Black Swamp Players, mm-hmm. places they Village worked, yeah. Players, yeah. Uh, Children's Theater Workshop, am I missing? Waterville Players. Waterville Players. Um, yeah, Theater Waterville for the players. World. Theater for the World. Uh, right? yeah, Theater for the World, for, where's that at? It's actually it's a, a, part church. Of a church organization. Oh, part okay. of a church organization. Right. And um, so when we were looking, it's like, oh, you know, do you know, we, we refer to it as seasoned actresses, mm-hmm. you know? Right. Um, oh, yeah, I know. So, and so it was like, you know, we didn't set out. We just wanted to find, you know, wonderful actresses that would be a part of this. And then suddenly going, oh, my God, we have this polyglot of, you know, People this is everywhere. wonderful. So you didn't have an open nice. call? Oh, we did. Oh, we did. Oh, yeah. you did. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, um, so you did have an open call, but then you also knew some other ones that you probably mm-hmm. requested to come to the open right. call. Yes. Right. You, I, you, we would like to see you come and read yeah, for right. us, yeah. that kind of you thing. You know, actresses we have seen when we've gone to see the shows yeah. at the Rep and the Village Players right. and gone, oh, we'd love to see and you. And so you come dropped your in. card in their little jar? There you said, are. here you go. Right, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> well, I know you guys also keep a library of your performers as well so a lot a lot yeah a lot of the because you guys are an equity house i assume so because a lot of places don't do that you know a lot of community theaters you come in you audition you get the role they throw all your 
stuff away. <laughs> Start oh, over no. the next time. Oh, no. We keep oh, everything. Yeah, yeah you guys no. keep everything. Yeah. So yeah. I wasn't sure if you guys were going through your little file folder and said, this person right here, boom. Yeah, watch we've done that. on all of our shows. We'll look through that and call and say, you auditioned for us, the Eros. Mm-hmm. We didn't have anything, but we loved you. Would you come in for this one? So, yeah, we do that on every single show. We have show. two people in the show that have been with us before. Oh, only two, though. Only and two. everyone else is new. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. you said Children's Theater Workshop. Is that somebody yeah. younger? Uh, a little bit, but it's Amy Reed. Oh, Amy Reed. You okay. know yes, Amy. Know yep. <laughs> yep. Yes. You got you got the Children's Theater Workshop. I see how. Yes, I wasn't did. sure if you. I <laughs> wasn't sure if you right got. A, yeah, there. I wasn't sure if you got a child from the no, Children's Theater Workshop no, yeah. that you had seen yeah. doing stuff there. Because she's it, our it, she's our super young gal. She's your super young gal. Right. She is. She's <laughs> only like twenty two or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So what? So what? There are no younger characters in the show then no, at all? It's because it's mama's ten, children, yep. and they're older now. Yes. Okay. No, well, it's oh, no. not that. No, the no, older no. actresses are playing the children. Well, they play themselves, play too. the children, yes. Oh, okay. I'm playing the youngest child, Dagmar. That's, that's a name? Da- yes, Dagmar. Oh. Dagmar. That's one of the two. They are Norwegian. That oh, I'm that's playing. right. That's right. They you are know? Norwegian. And, you know, she starts out at about age... You know, five six. Oh, so you got to do and the five six voice, and then yeah. then uh, yeah. we, we, we're oh, are we allowed to hear it? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you are, but you have to come to the show. Yeah, that's that's, right. that's that the line. That's the next thing that out of my mouth. I, I, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> come on, I should know better. That's okay <laughs> though, because this is a, this is obviously a unique show. Has not been done in the area, um, and there's going to be many, many, many shows. So people can come and see. Yes. It. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah. hopefully you get a nice crowd to come out and support you and all all this that's going on. Yeah. September when? Fourteenth. Fourteenth. To the twenty fourth. To the twenty fourth. So yep. ten days. Ten. But how many shows? I no, was ten. Yeah, no, that's a, like a two week period. But we'll be doing like ten shows. Every day you have a show? No. Uh, not, oh, okay. No, every day, but almost every day. <laughs> really? So I can go on a That's, Tuesday? There are some doubles. No. We have. No. We do Wednesday, have a Wednesday, the second the, yeah, week. Yeah, the second weekend we have a Wednesday. Well, we've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday matinee. Then we've got a Wednesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Thursday, doubleheader on mm-hmm. Friday. At the moment, no performances on that second Saturday, but okay. we that might change. And then we'll add... And then we have our closing Sunday Double header on a Friday? So a Friday after, after yeah. afternoon? Uh, uh, yes. We have uh, quite a large following that loves to come to weekday matinees. Cool. So we try to put at least one. Sometimes we've done two. Dude, yes. I love matinees. I'm so old. Yeah. I'm so old. I can't. I can't. I tend yeah, to, to want to, you know, go out to lunch first, <laughs> go to the matinee, then go home. Well, <laughs> and, at, and it's still light out. At like one all point, that. in we were just rehearsing this scene today in the hospital. One sick child, and this Uncle Chris is visiting because he paid for the operation. Um, and so then the actress playing this young man, um, she's sitting in this rocker, and it's a very comfortable rocker uh-huh. that she's going to be in. And the scenes are all happening around it, and her character has fallen asleep. So she did say. Um, do you really want me here kind of as if I'm asleep the whole time? And I said, well, I, I, yeah, that, that might be dangerous. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, yes. Okay. Let's, yeah, find a reason you get up and go upstage (laughs) so that you're not center stage when you fall asleep for real. (laughs) (laughs) It's a little warm and cozy in here. And somebody's, somebody's job is to make sure she stays awake. Yeah, her, you know. (laughs) All right. I have to test Kyle. Name of the show? Uh, I remember Mama. I was waiting for him to say like Mama's Boys or something, you know. <laughs> Mama's Boys. I was going That's to say funny. Mama's like Boys. That. Do you yes. know that? Yes, I do. I, you have never remember? seen that. It's 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 so rare. I uh, very rare, but it's yeah. It's about the Marx Brothers. Uh huh. And and their mother. And their mother. My yep. son sang a song from that, oh, so right. I didn't know it. So. Oh, you didn't know that one. <laughs> yes, I do Mama know that one. Great score. Mama. Ma- yeah, really I, great I, I score. I just know yeah. the one song that is sung. Yeah, Mama Rainbow. Yeah. Yes, that yes Mama it. Rainbow. Yep. It, uh, but I yeah. love, yeah. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's I great never score. heard it until he sang it, so <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? And then yeah. I told Tom, and Tom was like, oh, that's a March Brothers. You know, he's, he's got a, he's a wealth of, like, we try and pass and ourselves off as not knowing stuff, and then Tom comes on and ruins the illusion. Yep. If it was just me, it'd and be obvious. And your name I don't again? Know anything. <laughs> <laughs> September fourteenth. September fourteenth. September fourteenth. To twenty fourth. I want to make sure you guys get that, Mom and then we get it. tickets at. At you go on our website. There's a little red button on the homepage. 
that says okay. buy tickets, tickets, and it takes you right to... LakesideTheaterCompany.org? Com. Dot com. Okay. LakesideTheaterCompany.com. Theater with an R-E-E-R. Yeah. R-E. 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 And then we'll we'll share the link, obviously, too. We'll share it on our stuff whenever we post this podcast. We'll make sure it's all in there so everybody can can get on and find things. And you guys are on Facebook. We're on Facebook, you know, Instagram. So that, all that stuff. So you type in that kind of stuff, and it's in the Toledo area. You should have no problem yeah. finding these these wonderful people and getting their tickets and going to the shows. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for so coming much. in. We love talking to you. So again, I, I'll say yes without even seeing what you guys are even talking about. <laughs> apparently. That's how much <laughs> I like having you on. time you don't hear me, it's because I'm just listening. Yeah. Tom was pretty quiet. He was pretty quiet. <laughs> and we do have a second show in our season. Coming oh, up. Yes. Yeah. yeah. What is that one? We always do a Christmas, do a Christmas radio play. Oh, it's Christmas play. radio. Yeah. You remember we talked the last time. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you'll um, come back on for that one then. Yeah, we'll bring yeah. you back on because that's a unique thing and I like to talk about Christmassy yeah. stuff and, and we, there's there's only certain shows in the area that are, that are theaters in the company that are doing Christmassy stuff. Oh, yeah. So, you know, that's I don't want to have the same show on every year. You know, let's bring it in. Let's mix it up, people. Let's yeah. mix it up. <laughs> but it's not the one you were hoping. We were hoping to do it I happen know. on Fifth Avenue. Oh, yeah. But well, that'll happen at some point. But this one is a shop around the corner. Which oh, is beautiful. Which is, which Ooh, is beautiful. Which is nice also. Yeah. Also really great. And it's, and that that's beautiful. I'll, I'll be there to that one for sure. I love that one. So, all righty. Thank you, all right. ladies, Thank for coming you. in. Thank you. All right. Bye. I really appreciate it. <laughs>